It's that time again. News Radio 1120 KBNW. The wake up call under reconstruction. Our guest host today, Gary Snyder. All right, guest host. You, you want to be radio guy, whatever. Introduce our guests. The Secret Wine Society. Uh, guys, I was down in. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna stop you there. Okay. Secret Wine Society. Then you have to introduce the guests. So take two. Oh, you're putting me take, on the spot. I'm taking and putting you on. Do you didn't remember their names? I did it. I know Don. Right. Don and Robert. Don from the and Secret Robert. Wine Don and Robert. Yeah, I have your. Uh, I have your business card. <laughs> Hello. You got a cheat sheet. Yeah, yeah. It, the business cards come in handy, friend. Go uh, ahead. Go ahead. Don and Robert from the Secret Wine Society joining us now on the wake up call. There you go. Where is our audience? Can we get a round of applause, please? All right. Nicely, nicely done for Gary. Very well done. All right. You started to ask him a question, I think, didn't you? I did. So I don't drink a lot of wine. I'll be honest about that. But this, this is good stuff. What do you got for us today? Yeah, so we're starting out with a Pinot Noir from California of all places. It's like so. Oh, so so the Oregon uh, Mafia. Yes. Pinot there's, Mafia there's is going to they're going to be trailed by a head. black van all the way to the studio. And the thing is, they don't really talk about California Pinots. They don't really sell a lot of them. But this is from the Russian River Valley. So it's a very cool site in California. So the Petaluma Gap, the winds come through there. There's fogs in the morning. And by the time the fog blows off, then you have sea breezes come in. So it's a very cool, cool site. And you're going to get a little black tea. You can get some black fruits, some strawberry. And you see it's pretty dense, right? I, that was the first thing I noticed when you handed me the glass. I held it up to the light and it's like, man, this is a dark Pinot. It yeah, is. this comes from the Moon Dust Vineyard. Okay. Yeah. What? Now, Julia, of course, brought in a variety of different Pinots. Why Julia? And the first thing I noticed when I tasted this, this does not taste like an Oregon Pinot. The main thing that I noticed about it is it's significantly, at least in, to my palate, it's significantly drier. Mm -hmm. Is that? A lot of it comes from the soil. They have a specific, they call this the moon dust vineyard. They have a very super powdery loam soil that's not very fertile, Yeah, which allows them to control how the grapes turn out a little bit better. In other words, they can add some fertilizer if they need to. Everything's under their control because there's not much in this soil. It's, it's actually very good for growing any type of fruit. They call it Gold Ridge, I believe. Yeah, Gold Ridge soils and this particular moon dust vineyard is, is probably the coolest site in the Russian River Valley. I'm not sure whether I like this or not. I mean, on the one hand, it is not like the other Pinots that I've ever tasted. And I'm not a huge fan of really dry wines, but on the other hand, it's the finish on it. I'm not, I'm not fond of the front end, but the back end is really pleasant to yeah, me. Yeah, it's super smooth. And part of the reason like the fruit is dialed back, you're getting more of like black tea notes, mm -hmm. which are, kind of not what you would get necessarily in some of the pinots up here i think it's fantastic it's it's, it's different yeah nice and smooth and this is just a different style like we'll bring in some burgundies and you'll see the difference between california willamette and then so what, what do you think of this wine well, i think this is great and i told you guys i haven't been drinking wine i don't drink wine that much I well you're only it. 25 so it's not like you've you're <laughs> 26 Oh no, you just, <laughs> you know, yeah. Well, but anyway, I mean, he, he's more into Mogan David and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep in mind, this, this wine's not trying to be your friend, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't want to be your friend. What's I mean, when they're overly fruity, they're trying to sell them to people that are just getting into wine and it's, you have to approach it and meet it where it's at. What? For me, as opposed to just sitting down and drinking a glass of this, just 
like we're drinking it right now, I, I look at this and go, I need, this would be one that I would need to have food with. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I now, just, this would be great with some salmon. My wife did bring some cheese. Oh, oh, oh. look at you go. Did you, is that yeah. some more of that uh, aged cheddar that you brought in last time? This is more like There's an nothing. aged provolone. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Mm. You guys have the best cheese, by the it's way. It's called Cacio Cavallo. And it, you know, they string it up and it's like this giant ball of basically aged provolone. You guys have the best cheese. If yeah, you, if you've not been, we work hard at that. To the Secret Wine Society down in Oakland, and we're not talking California, Oakland, Oregon. There is such a place if you've never heard of it. Kind of, I don't know. Uh, would you say it's halfway between Eugene and Roseburg, or two it's a little away? closer to Roseburg, about forty-five minutes south? Okay, of here. Um, but your cheese is always off the hook. Every yeah, time we have to, cheese. You know, they don't deliver cheeses, so we have to actually drive to get some of these up in Portland. There's very few places that bring these in. So you pair this with, why salmon of all things? I was thinking something a little bit more... Well, because uh, the tannins are pretty low, Yeah. if it's if the wine's too grippy, it's going to overwhelm fish. Okay, we're going to roll on to the next one. This oh, is, another uh, glass? Right. Yeah, oh, yeah, we're, we're oh, yeah. still rolling. Oh, are you guys coming back tomorrow? Or <laughs> yeah, um, can we work on Saturday? We can make this. Yeah, this, thing. Is, this is this is fun. So okay, this, this next one is from Walla Walla. So this is Netherlands um, Syrah, and the vintage on this guy is 2019. Now, here's the thing I notice about this compared to other Syrahs. This one isn't as dark as some of the Syrahs that I'm used to. Yeah, this is designed to be a medium-bodied Syrah. They didn't punch it down so many times. And it's co-fermented with a small amount of Viognier to get a little bit more aromatics. What is Viognier? Viognier is a white grape. It's known as an aromatic grape. So this is a, a, a mixture? Sort of. Uh, they don't mix a lot in. It's more like a couple of percent just to accent the nose a little bit. And this is different from a lot of Syrahs that I'm used to as far as it being Syrah. This is sort of a little bit Syrah light. Mm -hmm. It's a, I, I would call it, a, if, if we were going to use boxing as sort of the analogy, this is a middleweight mm -hmm. for Syrahs. I really like this. Yeah, precisely. This is not designed to be this I mean, monster Syrahs are a dime a dozen. They're trying to do something a little bit different where you That's, don't want to necessarily overwhelm the food. Dang, that is really tasty. I like that one better than the first one. Yeah, so you, yeah, okay. it's getting better and better. So you're getting is that validated. how wine works? <laughs> yeah, that's how wine works. It gets better and better. Now, that's, now that is really good. It's got a nice kind of juicy... Yeah. quality about it. It's it does, and that's really one thing nice. you'll find is when people get into wine, they think that to be a wine person, they'll bang the table. Give me the biggest wine you've got. Mm -hmm. Well, they're skipping all of these really nice lighter styles. Like this is considered to be a medium body Syrah. Mm -hmm. But they'd be pounding the table, give me the biggest one you got, so they're not even gonna look at this. But it's a very nice wine. What, and I'm kind of on the subject. You mentioned this is from Walla Walla, and most people think of Walla Walla for their Walla Walla sweet onions. And if you've ever driven through Walla Walla in that area, it's, um, I guess the best way to put it is near desert-ish. Mm -hmm. um, is the, you know, the AVA there sort of like it is when you get down into certain areas of southern Oregon I mean because this what they found is so southern Rome is famous for being an, an ancient seabed and they've got these giant round stones called Gale and I can't remember who was up there first but they're walking around and they're looking at all these giant stones they're like wait this reminds us of the southern Rome Mm -hmm. So the soil is very similar. So they started planting Syrah there and it does very well. So the soil is very similar to the Southern Rome. 
That's why you get these big monster Syrahs from out of there, from the rocks. There's actually a vineyard called The Rocks because of those Galais. Yeah. But I mean, this wine is very nice for what it is. Each wine has a particular place, right? You don't always right. want the most massive wine, depending on what you have with it. This would be like for a lighter meat dish. It's like pork. Yeah, I wouldn't pair this with a giant steak. It doesn't have enough tannin on it. And it's not big enough, but right. there's other dishes where that, you know, something with too many tannins might just overwhelm the food. Like a, like a pork roast or right. something like that. That's really good. And, and now this is from Walla Walla. What's the name of it again? The winery is Echo Lands. Okay, Echo mm. Land. What's a bottle of that run? That probably runs around 40 to 50 bucks. And what about max. what about the the first one? The, the first one's gonna run closer to probably around 80. Whoa, really? Is, yeah, well that's what you're gonna pay for Pinot Noir just about anywhere if it's decent. I didn't drink all of it. Do you want? Do you have a funnel? Do you want to put some back back in? <laughs> I know. You, no? We used to leave these for you guys. I shouldn't say that on here, should I? But well, the, the that the, the this Syrah right here, I'll I'll definitely take care of that. Um, if if you so decide you want to do that. Anyway, Tab um, says she wants a slice of cheese. Who says that? Tab. Oh. Tab, our guest host from Tuesday, wants a slice of cheese. All right, so we are going to move on to okay. something Be that I know you will like. Okay, so before we move on to mm -hmm. it, we're going to take a Profit Center break, and we will be back with the Secret Wine Society with something I will like. Guaranteed. Oh, man. Guaranteed. Okay, okay you're building this up. This had better be good. It's the wake-up call. Good morning.